Okay, so we're back at the house. This is an old aquarium that I used to use for a snake, a lizard. We used it for tons of other stuff, um, even fish at one point, smaller fish. Uh, but we're gonna be repurposing it so it's full of a lot of uh, natural terrarium objects like rocks, wood, stuff like that, so that way the snake would feel at home. So we're gonna empty all of this out, put some water in there, and treat it. Um, yeah, let's just do it, right? Now. Okay, it's empty. So now it's got a lot of dirt and a lot of debris. We want to make sure that we clean that up as much as possible. We want to take off any of the debris that's on the outside, especially since it was used with other animals. The uh, urine, anything that was left behind from the other animals could be harmful for the fish that we're going to be putting in there. Plus, the fish themselves are already under a lot of stress since we've been moving them around, taking them from one environment to the other. So we're going to clean this up as best as we can, then fill it up with water and then treat it. Now, I, I need to move this outside because once I fill it up with water, it's going to be extremely heavy and I can't move it by myself. If I try to, the bottom of the glass might break out because of the pressure, you know, the weight of the water. We don't want that happening, so we're going to get this and we're going to move it outside. Yeah. This right here is another aquarium that I have. Um, this one's got an empty spot on the side. So I can stick my fingers through that because it's meant for turtles. Obviously we can't use that tank because the water will spill out or the fish will hop out. We don't want that. But we are going to use this as a base so that we can put the other things until I have time to build maybe another base. We'll make a video at it. I don't know if you guys want to see me how I make stands and stuff like that for our aquariums, whether they're for fish or for reptiles or anything like that, comment down below. I'll, I'll make a video if there's enough response out of it. But um, I also want to put some pieces of wood across to help support the bottom of the tank for the weight. Okay, now only a little bit of water just so I can get in there and scrub. I'm gonna go grab a brand new scrub brush, not one that you use for the dishes, not one that you use for anything else, especially because if it has any kind of chemicals from cleaning and you put it all in the tank, that residue gets stuck on the inside. Then you fill it up with water, you uh, dechlorinate the water, which is curing the water, getting it ready for the fish, but the chemicals from the cleaners are still in there. You end up killing all the fish anyway, so fresh, uh, fresh scrubber. Now, I'm not gonna say that's perfect. Well, that's pretty damn good. Way better than it was before. Okay, now the thing that I keep saying, we're actually gonna do it now. Fill it up and treat the water. Let's get to it. Okay, so most people would use a water hose to fill it up. I don't have that. I've got one of those and everyone's got a bathtub, so fill it up with the top water. This one's been sitting there filling, so that one's ready to go. Most people would argue that the water temperature will more than likely kill the fish, and in most cases I would agree, but those are people that are buying, going to PetSmart and buying tropical fish that come from a different region. Warmer waters, maybe even colder waters, so when you start using cold tap water from over here, and that's obviously really cold, you're gonna put the fish in there, you're gonna shock them. They're not gonna be used to it, they're gonna die. Uh, for me though, now, I haven't set up an aquarium in quite a while, so I thank my dad for giving me this. This is the water treatment right here. It's called water, it says right there, water conditioner. It'll focus, water conditioner. And the amount that you put in there is different per bottle, so read the bottle, follow the instructions. Um, in this case, I have to do a one full cap full. Um, actually, 10 milliliters. 10 milliliters is what I need to do, which is about halfway for this cap full, into the entire 20 gallons and that'll treat the water. Now I have to let it sit, minimum, we say an hour. Some bottles say instantly, my dad and I, we both say at minimum at least an hour. Uh, since it's gonna be sitting there for an hour, the water is gonna also change temperature to match the atmosphere, and the fish that we got are from this atmosphere. They're already used to this really, really cold weather, even though Florida isn't normally this cold for this season, they're used to it, they're alive, so best of luck.
Now you may have noticed that I didn't fill it up all the way to the top, um, and that's actually because I plan to put rocks and stones in there to kind of give the fish a more natural feel. Obviously I don't want to just take of emptiness. Um, so if you know about it, density. Once you put the rocks in there, the water level is going to rise, so if you leave a little bit of space right here, it gives you some wiggle room to put some really big rocks or a lot of rocks. Um, in this case, I've got tons, so um, I need to rinse them off. I'm not going to show you that. I'm just going to rinse them off and then we'll put them in there. This has got to wait an hour or so. I'm going to shower and I'll see you guys in about an hour or so. Uh, okay, it's been an hour. And again, guys, if you like this type of content, please let me know in the comments down below. Give me a like, subscribe, share this with a friend. And remember, we're still giving away the Get Hook t-shirts for all the supporters here, guys. All you got to do is just share a video on any kind of platform that you want. Tag me in it so I know that you did it, so that I can find you and send you your free shirt. Everything's covered, all right? Pretty badass. All right, let's go take a look at the tank. All right, there's the tank. It's ready. We've got the uh, the rocks and the sand in there. Rocks are all cleaned up. That back black thing back there is what's circulating the water in here, giving that flow. Um, as you can tell, there's little air bubbles. I don't know if you guys actually can tell. Little air bubbles at the bottom, but uh, yeah. I'm, I'm happy with it. It's actually really nice. The majority of them seem to be doing okay for right now. Especially that one, that's the most important one right there, that bass. He's such a beautiful specimen to have. Um, yeah, just swimming about. I'm gonna let them hang out, get acclimated, and maybe we'll check up on them later on, if you guys want. With that, Fucking awesome. Alright guys, so I had tons of fun making this video. It was actually a lot of fun being able to see what's in that water, being able to pull it out and make it, you know, a little aquarium out of it. Um, I hope you guys learned a little bit, maybe so you guys can try it out. If you did, let me know, man. You know, send me some photos, send me something so yeah, you know, I can see that you guys tried it out. I also want to see what's in your local area. Um, if you want to see more of these types of videos, go ahead and, you know, hit the like button. So it's giving me feedback, letting me know that you guys like these types of videos. Um, but hey guys, thanks again and get hooked. <laughs> Good as new.